Welcome to the Back 40 Feet, and um, Guinness and I are here to check our tomato seedlings. Um, so it's been about two weeks since we planted them, because he definitely helped me. Um, and what we're going to do is, uh, sorry, uh, check out their progress and then make a plan for watering, because once you really start to get... Um, your seedlings growing fast, they take up a lot of water and it's only going to take um, a day or two to forget to water them and they're dead. So let's check, check, check it out. Here are the tomato seedlings and a couple of the peppers. And when you really zoom in, you can see that they're, they have a nice uh, stem to them, uh, good and strong, and that they have a lot of leaves. So these are definitely going to start using water very quickly. Um, so I'm going to show you next uh, a capillary mat system, which is what I use to keep the seedlings well watered, especially if I find myself in um, a busy week, I don't have to worry about them. This is the watering system that I use. Um, so it's a tray um, and then a tray above that and a capillary mat. So if we take a closer look, um, this tray is pretty deep. It's um, about an inch and a half deep. And then this tray, you can see that it has a stand to keep it out of the water, it goes right on top like that. And you can see that there's a notch in it and that notch is so that you can add water. So what's gonna happen is this tray is gonna be full of water, but then what's gonna go on top and I just have to size it up is this capillary mat, which feels very much like felt. Um, but what it does is it wicks the water from this tray um, to the roots of the plants. So the plants are going to rest on top of this. And that way, as they're thirsty, they will be able to get water without um, having their roots constantly wet or dry. So it provides a nice steady state of um, water. And um, in addition to that, because this is plastic, I can also put my heating mat between the capillary mat and the tray so that the roots of the plants can still stay nice and warm instead of the temperature of my basement. I've cut my fabric. Um, so I made two of these because I have two um, trays for my plants. Um, so with this uh, capillary mat, uh, it can last for a couple of years. Uh, I had my last one for a few years and then it just started to get really tired. So you can buy these uh, new and cut it to fit, which is what I did over here. And then when you look inside, see how the fabric is on the inside and it's weighted down. So that way it's going to be able to wick up the water. Um, and this is where I'm going to put the plants. I have added the water. You can see that this is nice and wet. I have my heat mat underneath and in here you can see that that's full of water. Honestly, this holds about a gallon and a half of water, uh, so it definitely is going to help with my seedlings. Here I have my seedling tomatoes on my capillary mat, um, and I'm gonna to continue to add a few more, probably my peppers. Um, and the other advantage of this is that my plants that are growing um, and have a lot of leaves to them, I can put on these capillary mats, and I've moved these to the bottom shelf so they can just grow, and I can adjust the height of the, um, the lights accordingly. And then over here, where some of my seedlings are a little bit smaller. I've started them a little later. Uh, these are still tomatoes, which look a lot different than those. Um, I'll be able to move those to the top shelf and lower the light so that they're a little bit closer. Um, so these will give uh, different heights of lights so that it's based upon um, how mature the seedlings are. So yeah, that's what I have to say about uh, keeping my seedlings freshly watered.